Hi, this is Atlanta International Airport, and this is my family at 5 o'clock in the morning. Hi, my name is Anton Wozniak, and today you'll be flying with us on Delta Airlines First Class from Atlanta, Georgia, to the beautiful island of St. Martin in the Dutch Caribbean. This is my girlfriend, now fiancé. After checking in at the International Terminal, we went downstairs to catch the plane train over to Terminal E, where we would pick up our flight. This morning's flight, Delta 913, left out of gate E16, and this is our aircraft, a beautiful Boeing 757-200. Today's flight would take us down the coast of Florida, across the Bahamas, and down the island chain to St. Martin. After a coffee and some breakfast and a brief wait in the terminal, we're boarding the aircraft. Now, this is fairly typical for the Boeing 757. We're boarding at the L2 door and returning left to go up to our first class seats. Today, I got stuck with the aisle seat, and Sydney got the window seat. This was only because on the last flight, I got the window seat. Fair is fair, right? The first class seats today are arranged in a two-aisle two configuration. And these are fairly standard uh, domestic American business first class seats. They're plenty big and we both had a lot of leg room and considering uh, neither of us are really big people or tall, uh, these seats were uh, perfect for the uh, little under four hour flight time. Yeah, mostly smooth ride and route. Uh, weather uh, upon arrival should be in the mid-80s and mostly uh, clear skies. Soon we were pushing back for an on-time departure and this is when it really got exciting when it became real that we were going back down to the Caribbean islands and exploring a new island this time. Today we're taking runway 27 left for a westerly departure and then swinging around down to the south to head towards the eastern Caribbean. Now that we're getting ready to take off, I suppose I'll shut up at this time and uh, leave you with the wonderful sounds of the Boeing 757 engine and my annoying in-person commentary that unfortunately I can't do anything about.
we wait for breakfast, let's take a quick look at the seat. In the armrest, there's a small table for drinks. And the literature pocket is pretty big and stores a lot of different things. Plenty of legroom, except you can see I was a little annoyed with the IFE box right in the middle of my uh, footpath. The table comes down and is pretty sturdy. It slides forward and back. As a matter of personal opinion, I really do think that Delta does uh, in-flight entertainment better than any other U.S. carrier. So there is Wi-Fi on board, and the instructions were pretty clear on uh, mobile device or iPad. So we were able to connect to the Wi-Fi, continue, uh, connect, basically log in, sign up for what we wanted, and then get online. That was the moment all of us had been waiting for all morning, was the onboard dining. And to be honest, I've had better and I was a little disappointed in Delta this morning, especially coming from a hub city with uh, a good reputation for the catering. But this meal, it was advertised as a hot meal and it was just cold and kind of uncooked and the consistency just wasn't great. So it, it didn't leave a good taste in my mouth. Well, it left a good taste in my mouth, but I just wasn't so happy with it. So I decided to fill up on snacks to make myself feel a little bit better. So don't be too offended I have to leave There's nothing in for me, no I'm not fitting in I pack my things to go Am I being naive? But it's my choice to make It's my new rebellious way St. Martin. This is a uh, on-time departure today. And did you get a look at those views coming in? Overall, it was another great Delta experience, to be honest. I was a little disappointed with the food, but generally the flight was on time. The flight attendants were uh, super friendly, and really, we were just so excited to be in St. Martin. Now after the hurricane, the planning in St. Martin was a little bit interesting. Since the uh, jet bridges were all totally destroyed, as you can see, we had to deplane onto the tarmac. And while the walk to the arrivals door wasn't very long, they mandated that we had to take a bus uh, due to safety reasons. So here's a couple of hundred people on the ramp right next to the airplane. It doesn't seem safe to me, but remember, this isn't the United States anymore. I hope you enjoyed that video. There was a couple of things that I wanted to mention. One, that is the first video, first of my travel videos that I've done a voiceover for. So I hope to get better as I produce more of them. And if you have any tips for me, let me know. Second thing is that we took this trip to St. Martin in early March, which was 
just before uh, COVID really became an issue in the Western world. I think the entire island of St. Martin had about seven or 10 cases. And the return flight home, the flight attendant had warned us that things would be different when we got back into the States. All in all, they did a very good job at keeping the aircraft clean. Uh, they covered all of our food. You know, in first class, they, they kept all of the lids on all of the um, lunch items and everything. So that was really great. And the third thing is that we have not traveled by airline since then. We have been very safe. Uh, we've been traveling by car. We've been taking a lot of cleaning measures. So we've uh, definitely done our part in making sure that we don't get or spread the virus. Uh, as soon as travel restrictions lift a little bit more, as soon as it's a little bit safer to fly, I would love to go out and make more videos like this. Uh, if you have any tips for me, let me know. And uh, until next time, thanks for flying with me.